it's very important in understanding the physical world that our way of um, describing the physical world certainly at its most precise has to do with mathematics and that mathematics has to have been there s since the beginning of time it doesn't have any location in space it doesn't have any location in time some people would take it not to have any existence at all but it's hard to talk about science really without giving ma mathematics some kind of reality because that's how you describe your theories in terms of mathematical structures it has this also, also this relation to mentality because we we certainly have access to mathematical truths but i think it's useful to think of the world as not being a creation of our minds because if we do then how could it have been there before we were around how can the, the ma mathematics have been the creation of, of minds and still have been there controlling the universe so i think it's very uh, valuable to think of this platonic mathematical world as having its own existence so let's allow that and say that there are three different kinds of existence the normal physical existence the mental existence and the mathematical world which seems to be out there in some sense conjuring itself into existence and then there's the relationship between these three worlds which i regard as very mysterious i sometimes refer to this as three worlds and three mysteries and mystery number one is how is it that the physical world does in fact accord with mathematics not just any old mathematics but very sophisticated subtle mathematics to such a fantastic degree of precision mystery number two is how is it that when you have physical structures of the right kind and here i'm referring very specifically to human living human wakeful healthy brains probably many other animals i would say also have this quality of mentality and somehow it's evoked when the structures have the right have the right character whatever that is so there is um mentality seems to have this deep relation to certain kinds of physical structures and mystery number three has to do with our access to the world of mathematics it's something that you certainly can't describe in terms of purely computational activity there's something outside that involved in in our appreciation of mathematics even just knowing what the the natural numbers zero one two three four i could say that you see and you can explain to a child and you can have sesame street things with different things and and they get the idea they know what they're talking about they know what numbers are yet how do you know what they are if you can't describe in a finite set of rules what these numbers are there's another feature about this which is that in each case it's only a small part of one world which encompasses ever seemingly the entirety of the next world if you look at any mathematical journal it's full of things have absolutely no relevance <laughs> to physical activity so it's a small part of the mathematical world which seems to encompass the behavior of the physical world and it's a very small part of the physical world which seems to evoke mentality and it's only a small part of our mental activities which relate to mathematics now the typical scientific response to that would say okay the mental world is just an expression of the physical brain and so it's uh, it's an artificial phenomena and mathematics is very nice but it's something that human beings have invented to sort of describe the physical world to a mathematician you might take that the mathematical world somehow <laughs> is, is is the one because somehow it has to be there you see it's it sort of creates itself out of nothing or you might say well no no it's mentality it's, it, it, that's where all, all our knowledge comes that's everything ultimately is to do with our, our our consciousness and and everything else is then explained in terms of it when you look at these three worlds is it just as a description of reality or is that there some sense of real independent existence i don't necessarily regard this as a sort of ultimate picture i think that in some sense there are different aspects of reality and mm. that the, the true reality in some sense encompasses the whole thing